All right, guys. Let it or let it circulate. Let the people come in. Is anybody in yet? It's still loading in for them, so just give me one second. Okay. All right, yeah, we have people in now. All right, guys. Hey, how's it going? Happy Saturday. Uh, we are back from Ghana. We spent the week in the, in Africa. So now we're back. Um, so this is the monthly business call that I'm going to be doing. Um, previously, I was just doing financial planning call, but I wanted to kind of switch it up with the revamp. So last month, I did a, a business call on the art of networking, talk about referrals and how to network up um, a variety of different things. I believe is uh, on the site, on the app. So definitely check that out. A lot of great information. But this month, I wanted to kind of open it up and just have more of a free, free flowing conversation. So I wanted to answer questions kind of in the same vein that I did with the financial planning. But this one I want to do with business. So I realized that people don't have an opportunity a lot of times to actually ask questions and just receive information. So I wanted to open it up and um, have an open forum to try to answer as many questions in regards to business, business planning, whatever, marketing, whatever you, you guys have questions about. And um, that's what we're going to do today. So, uh, yeah, if anybody has questions, I guess, Magna, we can we can start and um, we can we can just go from there. Awesome. So earners, you're going to see that I put a link in the chat. Um, so that link right there is for you to come up and ask questions. Um, so just go ahead and click the link. We'll call on you one person at a time. Um, just, you know, as usual, when it comes to any Q&A, just remember the guidelines. Um, just we're going to ask you to keep it to one question per person. Um, keep it business related. But like you said, this is an open forum. So any business questions are welcome today. Um, and you will notice there's just a slight delay um, when you come on. That's normal. Um, when you're speaking to him, you'll kind of you'll be in real time. Um, so like I said, just go ahead and click on um, that link that I set and then we'll bring you up. Awesome. So we have Ronice. I'm going to bring you to the stage. How you doing? Hi. Hi, Rashad. How are you? Hi, Magna. Thank you for hosting this. We appreciate you. My business question is, how do you know who to choose or how to choose the right um, team to market you, like the social media and stuff like that? how to choose like the right per like a social media manager or somebody to handle your social media. Right. How do you choose the right people? So I would always, Magna, can you, mute? I would, uh, first of all, thank you for the question. So I would always ask for referrals. Um, that's like kind of one on one as far as any, any professional services, whether it's a dentist, whether it's a landscaping, whether it's somebody that's running social media, I always I always ask for referrals, and I would ask for referrals from pretty much my whole entire network. Anybody that I that I know or have a relationship with that has anybody that has ever done work for them in the social media field, I would I would ask for referrals. Um, then I like to look at their their work that they've done. A lot of times, you if you don't even get a referral, you can just Google social media managers. They're, they're pretty popular. They'll, they'll they'll pop up. But um, I'll go through their page. For their own personal content to see how it's curated they don't have to have a lot of followers or they don't have to have you know because that that might not be their job to market themselves but you can still kind of get a feel for how they're curating the content based off of how they actually have their page set up right and sometimes your tone your business tone could be different from how somebody else wants to curate the social media so just because they they have a lot of followers for somebody doesn't mean that they're a good fit for everybody right so I will look. I will look to see what they currently have going on as far as who they who they have worked with and what they have currently going on, on their own page. And then from there, I will set up a consultation. Most of the time, you can set up a consultation for free. Um, I definitely would not pay for a, cons a consultation the first um, uh, the first one, um, for sure. So in in that consultation, I would try to ask them as much uh educational questions as possible right as far as like okay so how how do you guys tackle changes in the algorithm 
um, what would be a strategy to get my page from 2000 followers to 10,000 followers? How many times a day would, would you guys be posting? Um, I would just think about every single question that I, I can and, and ask them that, right? And, and see their answers. You can kind of know if somebody is genuinely educated on what they're doing or if they're just blowing smoke just by using your own intuition. And then from there, um, you know, the next step would be you feel comfortable with somebody you, you've, you've been referred, you've seen, you've seen their work, you trust the answers that they're giving you. It sounds like they know what they're talking about. They've come up with a, with a strategic plan in place. And then from there, you, you figure out what the um, payment schedule is, right? I always like to have some level of, let's see how this goes first. So like, instead of just signing up for a year, maybe it's like, okay, let's do, let's do a month. Right? I'm going to give you a month and let's see if, if I can make progress in a month. That way you can get out if you need to, as opposed to locking yourself in for six months or a year contract. But um, those would be some of the um, the things that I would do if I was currently looking for somebody to do my social media. And um, yeah. Thank you, I appreciate that. That was great advice, thank you. No, no problem.